death toll has increased in the train tragedy in Andhra Pradesh. The train tragedy has led to the loss of life of nine passengers. The express and passenger trains collided in uh, Vizangaram and nine dead, over 40 injured now with the derailment of the train. Prime Minister Modi has taken stock of the situation, assuring assistance. 10 lakh rupees ex gratia has also been decided in this case. Uh, it is a terrible tragedy that's taken place. Remember uh, yesterday evening when uh, the two trains collided, immediate uh, death toll was uh, not available but slowly started uh, the news and the information started to come in, in that over nine have now uh, been confirmed dead with 40 injured. Apurva Jayachandra is joining on the latest on that. Apurva, terrible incident has taken place. Give us more details about, uh, you know, what is the present status of the situation, specifically about the rescue operation also, that's all. Well, uh, Pooja, uh, we do know that this uh, terrible accident has taken place yesterday late evening and this was between two trains, two passenger trains that had taken place uh, when both these trains that an incoming train uh, had collided into a train that was stationary on the track. This is what we are getting information from uh, railway officials. Uh, so far, the death toll that has been accounted for is about nine persons who are said to have been deceased, while over, uh, you know, 40 people are also said to be grievously injured in this accident. Uh, we also know that since late last night, rescue operations are already underway. The Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh, Jagan Mohan Reddy, has also been taking stock of the situation. He has also briefed the Railway Minister Ashwin Kumar as well as uh, you know, uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi on uh, what is happening on ground as well. Uh, in and around hospitals and blood banks have also been notified that uh, passengers who have been injured and victims will be uh, coming uh, to the hospitals at the earliest so necessary preparations be taken. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, we're also seeing that a lot of information uh, as of now that has been put out, helpline numbers have been given for the, uh, the families of the public who were there in that train as well. We do know that three bogies, uh, you know, were uh, affected in this uh, crash that took place, the collision that took place. Three bogies had been affected and several passengers had been injured. One important thing that railway officials are pointing out, uh, I must tell you, is that uh, they are saying that this had happened due to uh, you know, a human error, that's what they're saying. Remember uh, the tragic Balasor accident that took place just a couple of months back as well. We had seen a similar kind of situation and human error that took place, overstepping of the signal, uh, uh, overjumping of the signal. That's what we are also getting to know. This is also told to be a similar uh, exercise that had taken place here. Uh, more information as to what happened and how this overstepping hmm. of uh, hmm. signal had happened. Is stay on with me. Apurva, stay on with me because uh, Railways East uh, PR is joining me right now for the latest on that. Uh, Biswajit uh, Sahu at this moment on the phone line. Uh, Mr. Sahu, first, if I can, for the clarity, uh, how, what is the death toll that has been confirmed, the injured that has been confirmed, and how are the injured being treated? What is the rescue operation like? Sir, go ahead. Uh, yes, presently, uh, we have a confirmation of uh, unfortunate death of uh, 11 people, uh, and uh, uh, the injured uh, are around 50, uh, which we'll be confirming in some time. Uh, uh, the rescue operations are uh, uh, were over around uh, uh, 12 o'clock in the night, and uh, the injured have been shifted to the uh, nearest hospitals, uh, the Vijayanagaram Hospital and uh, Almanda uh, Pub Primary Health Center was there. So uh, these are the places where they are treated, and also in Visakhapatna. Uh, we provided yes. trains and uh, fooding for the standard passengers there. Uh, so these were the steps. So with the latest information coming in, what is the cause of the incident? What exactly happened that two trains uh, have, have collided at each other? And looking at the visuals, uh, you know, it looks horrific. What do you think exactly, according to your information, happened? Sir? Uh, the primary uh, information that we have is uh, one of the trains has, call, uh, has uh, hit the uh, uh, train uh, in the front. So... Hmm. Uh, the train in the at the back uh, has oversuited a signal. Uh, it should have stopped at the signal. It has oversuited the signal. Why this has happened? This will be found out in an inquiry. Uh, but that is the first cause we have known. All right. I appreciate you joining us, sir. This is Biswajit Sahu. He's the CPRO of the Railways East as well. So can we say, sir, that for now rescue operation is over? 
and that uh, for now it is being uh, whoever is injured are being taken care of that people have been taken out alive or dead from that location sir ah uh, yes uh, in terms of human life we have uh, completed our rescue operation huh. uh, presently we are working on uh, making the track fit and how much time could that take because that is an important route sir it must have got disrupted for now when are we expecting uh, yes, the, the around, start of next uh, around two or three uh, routes are there so we will be clearing uh, one after the other the complete uh, restoration may take around another uh, uh, till uh, 4 uh, pm uh, today so today itself it's likely to be clear yes. okay i appreciate you joining us sir biswajit sahu is the cpro east So here's what happened barely few hours ago yesterday evening few passengers who lost their life many more were injured after two trains collided and resulted in the derailment of the bogies in Andhra Pradesh's Vizag This is Vizag Raigarh passenger train that collided with Vizag Palasa passenger train the two rear coaches of Vizag Palasa train and an engine of the Vizag Raigarh passenger derailed The reason suspected for now could possibly be human error but the inquiry is still on it was because according to initial information the overshooting of the signal by Vizag Raigarh train and that as we just heard that there was a train already on the track and with the train following the, there is some error that has taken place there prime minister has extended condolences to the bereaved families union railways minister ashwini vaishnav also took stock of the situation Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister has expressed shock over the mishap, ex-gratia of 10 lakh rupees each to the kin of deceased, 2 lakh each to the injured from the state, and compensation of 2 lakh each to the deceased or deceased kin, and 50,000 rupees each to injured from other states have been that have been announced too. Now the incident comes months after, remember that Bala Sor incident that had taken place on 2nd June, and that raises another question of what kind of errors that are taking place and how can it be avoided at all costs. Vishwajit Sahu who is the CPRO East Railways is joining us over the phone line right now Mr Sahu thank you for speaking to India today sir uh, what can you tell us in terms of an update on the rescue and relief operations that are underway at ground zero at the moment sir uh, uh, presently we are focusing on the rescue operations and we have uh, uh, provided the helpline number so that public doesn't panic and they get the information that is actually available with us uh, through your media uh we also are focusing on uh, how to get the stranded passengers to their uh, to their destination or at least the nearby uh, main important city so that as, as uh, vijayanagaram uh, we have provided uh, bus services 